Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to get into some IPsec uh, VPNs um, using a GRE tunnel. So pretty much uh, IPsec is pretty much, it's like an overlay technology. So if you don't have connectivity from let's say router 1 to router 2, this will not work. You have to make sure your connection has already been established, then we can uh, implement IPsec VPNs over our internet connection. Uh, so this is pretty much encrypting all all traffic from let's say site 1 over to site 2 over our internet connection. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. I've already done the basic um, connectivity between the, the devices. All the IPs have been set, all the ports have been turned up. I'm just going to jump straight into the the tunnel configuration and the crypto configuration. So let's get started. Alright, so first like I said we want to make sure we have connectivity to the other end. So we're going to ping router 2's IP which is 20.0.0.1 which is interface here. Okay, and we do. So we can go and get started. Let's jump straight into the tunnel. Specify tunnel source. Tunnel source is going to be our FA00 interface here. Let me pull those up free. Here we go. And tunnel destination is going to be the remote end. So router 2's IP address on this end, that will be our destination. And of course, we need to specify an IP address. It's going to be 10.1.1 slash 30. Makes it there. Um, and for, like I said, IPsec VPNs, you have to specify uh, source and destination traffic. So in this case, we're going to create an access extended access list here to uh, pretty much encrypt all data from this source to this destination. So let's go ahead and do that first. IP access lists extended. Uh, we're going to permit. IP 192.168.1 network slash 24 over to our 172.16 network slash 24. Okay. Now we can jump straight into the crypto. Crypto ICCAM policy. One. Authentication is going to be pre share. Encryption, we're going to use AES 256. Hashing, we're going to use SHA. It's a little bit more secure than MD5. And we're going to use Diffie Hellman Group 5. Exit out. Um, next, we jump into the Crypto Isaac Kemp uh, key. Specify a password name. And then the address. And the address is going to be your remote end, which is Router 2's interface again. Here. Okay. At this point, we can do a crypto IPsec transform set. And I usually keep mine simple with my set as the name. You can choose any name you want. And this part is we have to specify the encryption and hashing algorithms we used earlier, which is AES and SHA. Exit out of there. And then we have to jump to our crypto map configuration. I usually do crypto map, uh, my map. We have to specify IPsec, ISACAMP. Okay. Then we want to match our access list that we created earlier with the match address command. Matching address, uh, matching the access list 100 that we created. And then we're going to set our transform set, my set. And we want to set the peer which is going to be the remote end again, which is router 2's IP or outside interface. So at this point, we can jump into our tunnel interface and apply it with the crypto map my map command. That's going to turn on my ISACIM. There it goes. We're going to use EIGRP as our IGP. And we're going to advertise our GRE interface, which is our tunnel interface. 
and we're going to advertise our inside interface which is our 192.168 network okay that should be good and we want to apply pretty much the same config over on router 2 everything should be pretty much the same as far as the crypto uh, configuration let's jump into the tunnel tunnel source it's going to be FA00. Router 2 is here. FA00. Tunnel destination. It's going to be Router 1's outside interface. And our IP address is going to be 10.1.1.2 here. Router 2. Mix it out of there. And we're going to go ahead and jump into our our access list here, our extended access list. So last time we created an ACL on router one, specifying source 192.168.1 network to destination 172.16.1 network. Now we're going to do the opposite. It's going to be 172 is going to be the source, and 192 is going to be the destination. So I'm going to permit IP 172.16. Slash 24 over to 192.168 slash 24. Access list has been created. Let's jump to the crypto. Crypto ICAMP camp policy one. Authentication encryption AES 256. Just like the other end. Hashing is going to be SHA and Diffie Hellman groups going to be five. Exit out of there. We'll do a crypto ICAMP camp uh, key. And remember, these have to match, otherwise the tunnel won't be able to come up. Specify the address. It's going to be router one's outside address. Okay. We can do crypto IPsec transform set my set ESP AES ESP SHA and create our crypto map my map 10 and inside this we want to match our access list using the match address command I'm going to set the transform set and set the peer And we're just going to apply this on our tunnel interface using the crypto map my map command. Oh, let's see. Oh, kind of messed up on the my map. Change that, match the address 100, set transform set to my set, and set peer. Okay. Now we'll apply the crypto map, my map, to the tunnel. We should see Isocamp turn on, and we'll also configure EIGRP to advertise our GRE interface and our inside network oh, 172 on this side okay, we do show IP EIGRP neighbors and we see our tunnel is up cool so when we do the show crypto ICAMP SA, we don't see anything. But as soon as we try to ping from client to server, let's see if the tunnel gets established. So we're going to ping the 172.16.1.10. Let's repeat it 100 times. Okay, we have nothing. 
Okay, looks like the tunnel has been established. And we're actually sending data. Okay. So it sent about 96 packets. And we can check that here at Router 1 by running the same show crypto isocamp SA. And we'll see that our tunnel has been established between 10, the 10 network and the 2 network, which is Router 1 and Router 2. So you can really check the, the traffic by doing a show crypto IPsec SA, security advertisement. It will show you that we have 98 packets encapsulated and 96 packets decapsulated. So traffic's actively flowing over the, the tunnel. And you can see from the 192 network to the 172 network only. You can specify as many ACLs as you want to encrypt source to destination traffic. So let's go and send uh, a few more packets. Let's send four. Okay, and we'll check our 4 peer. So now we have 102 packets encapsulated and 100 packets decapsulated. So if we run a constant ping on here, we'll be able to see the packets encapsulated and packets decapsulated change. See? So we've successfully encrypting all data from that source IP to this destination IP. And we can also check at the router 2 end, same commands. And we will see encapsulated and decapsulated. And that there is pretty much IPsec VPNs. Thanks for checking it out.